Across the dark city, the white lady was starting to get surrounded by the cicadas chasing her. She couldn't call for backup as she knew that the others were all doing something else somewhere in the city. She broke through the apartment window and fell on top of another building. The white lady hoped that these insect-like beings didn't have wings yet. But alas, they did. One of them crawled out of the window and grew giant insect wings that sounded like a buzz saw as it flew. All she could do was curse under her breath as the humanoid flew right at her. Expecting a bite or some sort of an attack, she was dumbfounded when what she felt instead was a soft tugging at her elbow. She looked up then saw the humanoid in the open. It was trying to use gestures in order to communicate with her. It wasn't aggressive, it was more like it was trying to get her attention. Trying not to get scared too much of a giant humanoid insect crossbreed, she stood up and observed the creature more, learning small patterns of behavior. The white lady then pulled out her compact fabricator, an invention of hers that she had been bringing along in missions. It was inspired by reading Harry Potter and Hermione's infinite bag called the Moke Skin Pouch. But instead of hiding objects like the fictional bag, hers will have the ability to produce anything her imagination could pull. With a few clicks and data input, the machine produced a collar laced with a translator pod. She had been collecting cicada hums and yells taken from all over the city before this and was trying to decipher their communication and saving the data in her helmet. Another strategy approach she picked up from the film Arrival, where Amy Adams tried to learn an alien language using sound and symbols. As the fabricator halted, she took the collar and slowly placed it around the neck of the humanoid, hoping that her prep time with the audio file she'd collected and translated would work at this crucial moment. She needed to see if they could communicate with them. Thank you.